Bed sores, also known as pressure ulcers, affect more than 2.5 million people in the United States every year. They are skin wounds, usually caused by prolonged pressure. People with limited mobility are at the highest risk of developing bed sores because they spend long hours sitting or sleeping in the same position. Over time, the skin undergoing the most pressure suffers from a lack of blood supply and develops a wound. There are four stages of bed sores based on the severity and depth of the wound. Stage 1 bed sores affect only the upper layer of the skin. There are several main signs and symptoms of stage 1 bed sores. Mild discoloration of the skin that appears reddish, brownish, or darkish. Swollen skin, skin that's painful to the touch. Skin that feels warmer than the other areas. When treated early, stage 1 bed sores can heal within three days. Stage 2 bed sores happen when stage 1 bed sores are allowed to worsen. The sores appear larger and are more painful. The upper skin layer might be broken, creating a small wound. The affected skin may be swollen and very painful. The surrounding areas may have small blisters and might appear darker. There could be pus or drainage signifying an infection. It takes at least three days and up to two weeks to recover from a stage two bed sore. Stage three bed sores are even deeper and more extensive. Stage three bed sores happen when the blood supply is completely cut off to the area, damaging the healthy tissue in that region and creating an open wound. At this stage, the crater-like wound has affected the fatty tissues and becomes prone to infections. Risk factors for stage three bed sores include diabetes, spinal injuries resulting in limited mobility, malnutrition, and blood circulation issues. Stage three bed sores demonstrate symptoms like unpleasant odor, black skin surrounding the wound, redness and swelling, greenish drainage and pus, fever. If treated in time, stage three ulcers can take up to four months to completely heal. Patients with bed sores at this stage may require additional treatment if recovery takes longer. Stage four bed sores are the most complicated and serious wounds. These ulcers occur when stage three wounds are not treated properly. The sores are large, affecting the fatty tissues, bones, muscles, and ligaments. Patients with stage four bed sores experience severe pain and their movement may be limited. Stage four bed sore symptoms include a deep and extensive wound that exposes the bones and ligaments, pus and drainage signifying an infection in the wound, swelling and blisters around the wound, darkened skin that's extremely sensitive, high fever in some instances. Recovery from a stage four bed sore is possible, but depends on how soon an effective treatment starts. While some wounds might heal in three months, others can persist for years. In addition to the four stages of bed sores, there are other bed sores considered unstageable until a doctor cleans them first to determine the damage. These wounds are usually covered by sloughed off skin or dead tissue that might be removed to examine the sore properly. Signs of an unstageable bed sore include the wound may appear reddish or greenish if there is an infection. The patient may have severe pain and swelling. The patient may have a fever. Sometimes bed sores can result in deep tissue injuries that can be hard to detect. The upper wound may look like a stage one or two bed sore, but the damage below the surface can be stage three or four. With deep tissue injuries, a thin blister can form on the skin, making it difficult to diagnose its exact stage. Signs of a deep tissue injury can be localized skin discolorations, a wound that's warmer or cooler than surrounding skin severe pain and high fever. Without proper treatment, bed sores can result in multiple complications. Cellulitis is a bacterial infection that affects the skin surface and can later move into the inner parts of a wound. Over time, the bacteria can also move to other parts of the body and cause organ failure along with other life-threatening conditions. Prolonged bed sores can result in bone or joint infections, which can reduce the functionality of the affected bones and joints. Even worse, wounds that go untreated for an extended period and cannot heal can increase the chances of developing cancer cells. Like other illnesses, bed sores can affect a patient's mental health and cause financial complications which can drain their resources, especially if a wound lasts for many years. Anyone can get bed sores, but the elderly population is the most vulnerable. If you have a loved one in a nursing home, make sure they receive the best care possible. 
monitor their health and pay attention to their complaints. If they develop bed sores, help them get the proper medical services. If you believe a family member suffers from bed sores at a nursing home facility or was injured in a nursing home due to elder abuse, maltreatment, or neglect, contact us for a free case evaluation. We can help determine if you're eligible for compensation for medical costs resulting from bed sores. NursingHomeAbuse.org, exposing nursing home abuse and helping seniors get justice.